Hi everyone. We're here together for the first time in, oh gosh, a while, a long time, a while. Yeah. So we're going to do something a little different for you today um, on the Jen and Ashley spinoff. Um, so Jen, if you want to dive in, you're here. She's on the bed, so she's the, she's the client today. So I have been feeling um, a lot more sluggish and less grounded and chaotic. So we knew I needed to contact Ashley to have an appointment. So then we thought, why not show you guys what it actually looks like when you come here? Because I know that can be a huge um, stressor for people not knowing what's going on. Sure. So um, I'm a mom of four kids and I have three empaths living in my house all of the time. Therefore, it is chaos a lot of the time, a lot of the time. And I find when I come to Ashley, it kind of gets me centered. Um, we call it the enema, um, the spiritual enema. It just takes everything out of the stuff that we don't need and she puts it back in with, with positive and, and I can kind of go forward a little bit more. So we thought we would show you guys what it looks like and what a session actually looks like um, before, during and after so that when you um, decide to finally come or if you're a repeat customer, that's great. If you are on the fence on if you want to be here or not, yeah. this might help you see the difference. And I was explaining to Jen that most people who haven't been here before, the first question is, well, what do you do? What's it like? Um, and so we're going to we're going to dive right in and you can watch and you can skip along or you can, you know, lay down and enjoy, too. I always tell people that the best way is to fall asleep. That's how my kids come here. They I think my son gets the best sleep ever when he's on the bed because he doesn't have to worry about anything so um the more you relax and the more open you are the the easier it is for ashley although yeah. she's got her work cut out for her yeah. it'll be great, it'll be great. <laughs> the other thing that many people ask um so jen um has showed up i can tell already that she's holding a whole bunch on her shoulders um solar plexus heart and root chakra are needing some support um but we'll check and see kind of what else comes along with that um and many people ask, well, are you going to take that on? No, that's what you're getting from me is not my energy. It comes from source. And what I'm clearing from you doesn't attach to me. Um, so, yeah. We're getting Once it goes, it goes. And it's gone. It's not mine. It's not, well, hopefully not yours at the end of this <laughs> either. Um, but, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's so, before you lay down, Jen, you get here and you tell me, you know, what, what's bringing you today? So, just um family shite mm -hmm. it's i know like i'm a lot more sore in my shoulder and my neck which means that i'm carrying the weight of most of them um i know i'm like i'm really really exhausted like in the last four or five days i could sleep all day if i wanted to mm -hmm. so clearly something is off there and i'm just like yeah i just need yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah. So it sounds like yeah, shoulders is carrying the weight of the world. Yeah. Um, lots going on with your heart too. Um, you said neck. Um, so are you finding it difficult to kind of speak your truth? It's not to speak. It just feels like I'm. I'm not able to figure out what I need to speak. So it's not that I can't. I can't explain it. It's it's muddled in here. Ah, so intuition. Yeah. So mm -hmm. like the intuition is like bang on, but I can't figure out how to filter. reason it. Yeah. And filter through. So sometimes we're happy to speak, but we don't know what it is that we should be saying say. in that situation. Yeah. And if you're working with teenagers, you're working on spur of the moment, like oh yeah, it's right it's not, all of the time. <laughs> it's yeah. not okay, I need to, in a week's time, really have this great conversation with my child. It's like, oh, we're in crisis right now. We got to, right? So yeah. finding and then carrying that, yeah. the weight of that. What didn't I say? What could I have said? What should I have said? Yeah. What's going on? How can I fix this? As a mom, mm -hmm. can you fix it? Like, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just, we're just putting some holes over some patches. Right? And... Yeah, I just need 
I need it done. That's great. And you mentioned kind of things being all over the place. So we'll bring you back down. We'll get you grounded so that, A, you're more clear, but also is that shoulders back. Feel good. I feel strong. I feel like I need to tap. My stem a little bit better because right now it just feels like I'm chasing helium balloons through the field and not catching them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, so we will we'll get you grounded. We'll see what kind of comes up. Um, but before we start, one thing that I that's showing up is uh, you're carrying everybody's stuff as though it's your own, mm-hmm. and knowing it's not. Put Bradley in his own path. Put Haley on her own path. Lex, Rob, all of your souls have different journeys here. Mm-hmm. Your job is not to collect their journey. No, I don't want them. But so they came. Yes. And I need to. Because you're an empath. Yeah. So we're going to get everybody back in their own lanes, you especially, and allow their souls and your soul to be in its own separate path. Because mm-hmm. that's when we're most helpful to, that's when you'll be most helpful to them. Right? Yeah. You will be a better help to Bradley if you're not in his ship. Yeah. Right, standing yeah. outside and going, oh, I see your shit. I'm gonna help you with that shit, but I'm not gonna be in it, be in it with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. You lay down in here. I'll get some music going for us. We'll get started. Thank you.
before you, Father. Did you honor that? Yeah. Good. And then I just put white in, but yeah, it's weird. I've never had that happen before. It was all the color of the rainbow. That was awesome. So that was what you were pulling in? No. Or that's what you were Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Oh my goodness. So I don't know if you could hear, but at one point I told Jen um, to breathe in calm and release everybody else's energy. So she tends to pick up, she's got all her kids, um, her husband and the rest of the world really is what she's carrying around. So um, I told her to breathe in a color that represents calm and release a color that represents everybody else's energy. So you're saying everybody I breathe in white for you, for your yeah. calm. And then out unicorn vomit. Which Rainbow. makes which yeah. makes sense. You're yeah. carrying all those yeah. energies. Yeah, and it, I think because everybody has different colors and different yeah. things, right? That it would make sense. And then sometimes when you were on, I think it would have been on my right shoulder, it was just constant shades of red and pinks and like magenta and everything oh, else. Okay. And this one was like blue and teal and like greeny dark so that's really cool because what came up was when you were laying on your back um lots coming out of that right shoulder mm -hmm. sorry i get turned around here left shoulder yeah it took longer for you to get rid of the stuff on the left but the right one feels heavier uh so right was bradley and the left is the girls oh, okay so you're carrying all your female energy the girls the stress of what's going on with them on that left side and Bradley sits on the, on the right. Oh, and so it's yeah. interesting that you, they were two different colors mm -hmm. and then when you're breathing out those medley of colors. Yeah. Uh, interesting. How do your shoulders and your neck feel now? They feel like way, way lighter. Lighter? Yeah. Yeah. The only part that still hurts is like the center of my lower back. Uh, finances. Yeah, well, that's it sits. Lower back is finance, worry about finances or difficulties or just uncertainty. Yeah. So that's, that could be just with things changing and things moving, that's just that lower back. Well, the change of the season. Financial stressors based on. Yeah, because Rob works seasonal, right? He's all the all year round, but we do have different, I guess, costs associated yeah. with each. So just pay attention to that. That'll, that'll let up, but just pay attention to it now that you know that that's kind of the circle of what that is. That makes sense. Um, so I'll tell you about your chakras, what was closed, what was open. Okay. And um, we can kind of go from there. Do you have any questions or anything that popped up for you that was kind of interesting or different or just feeling really No, good it was like... just a lot of weird things popping through, like I said, the brick wall, and it was like dark red with black spots, and it was there for a bit, and then go. I had to let it go, and there was a lot more that just came in, and then I would release, and at first, it's always hard, right, because you're like, why am I thinking about this random teddy bear that came there, and I'm like, doesn't make sense, so, okay, yeah, I see you, get out, I don't want you here right now, and there was a lot of that okay like basement was one of them and just strange but isn't it so just things that store yeah bizarre things that we store yeah that are no longer serving you no so that was what it felt like is there was a lot of things that were popping up that i was able to release because i was safe and i knew that you were helping me get rid of it mm -hmm. yeah and probably things that you wouldn't, if you were sitting down and trying to release on your own. Wouldn't make sense. And it wouldn't, right? Like to get it to that place, it yeah. wouldn't, yeah, it would just yeah. stay kind of dormant. So, yeah. Yay. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so root chakra, like roots of a tree, um, they're what keep us grounded, keep us feeling safe, connected. Um, that one was closed, yeah. which you knew. Yeah. So Jen, it's not like this is not her first treatment. So she came in, she she's like, I think this is closed, I think, right? So she 
she's gotten to a point where she's done this enough and is aware of her energy and her body that um, she can really kind of pinpoint, oh, I need a treatment because I, I know I'm not grounded, right? Um, so that's something that kind of comes with um, repeated treatments where you start to go, oh, I don't feel like me or, oh, I was good and I'm not good. Um, so that one was closed. That's that down yeah. to earth feeling. Um, next is sacral. And that one, sexuality, creativity, and just relationships in general. Um, that one's closed. I was gonna say it's closed. <laughs> creativity, I noticed lately, is just not, mm -hmm. not there mm -hmm. at all. Um, and probably makes sense because you're a relationships person. Mm -hmm. And so when relationships are um, tenuous or struggling, or your children are struggling, um, it makes it hard to go to that safe, creative place. Yes. Um, so that makes sense. Um, everything that was closed is now open, though. So um, don't cling to that um, knowledge, because sometimes that's what we do: is we we know that oh well, I always shut my solar plexus. Oh, I always so shut I'm my. Take advantage of it and paint all the things. All <laughs> yeah. The thing. yeah. Yeah. So allow it. To, so know that and release it, knowing that you're open and clear. Um, solar plexus was closed, um, but different pieces of it. So the, the major part of solar plexus is our power. Mm -hmm. Within that sits, um, anxiety can sit there. So there was a bit of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Confidence sits there. Mm -hmm. You're confident. So that piece wasn't missing, um, but inner power mm -hmm. was missing. So I'm like, confidence and inner power, aren't they kind of the same? And it showed up on you for no. Yeah. Um, you're very confident in your day-to-day, -day, you're take charge, I've got this, we're good, but you're so depleted right now that you don't feel like I've got it. Yes. Like I have it. Yeah. Yes. Um, what do you need, love? My water? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Apparently. I thought I could do it. Um, and this time I'm like ridiculously thirsty, so, which is good because that means that everything's yeah, yeah, flushing. Um, it's funny, after treatment, I am the thirstiest. I can skip water most of the day, but right after treatment, I'm thirsty too. Yeah. Um, so that's good. Um, so yeah, just that inner power. So clearing, flushing, everything that we're doing um, will help with that. Just going into it confidently, but also feeling like, oh, good, I've yeah. got this. Um, yeah. Versus just kind of going on that survival process, like, yeah. we're doing this because we got to let's go, let's go, versus yeah. being like that calm place. Mm -hmm. um, heart chakra was kind of interesting. Um, cool. Parts of it were closed. So it was showing up, so giving love, feeling love, and self-love. Those three are the major three, um, but I can kind of check things from there. So those are all kind of, well, they're okay. Yeah. Um, who was showing up though? And it was Lex and Rob. And so needed some clearing around that. Um, you you worry about the other two, but they're okay. Yeah. They have each other. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, the, you know that Bradley and Haley, they're, they're good. Yeah. Uh, you're there for them, you do stuff, and you're their yeah. mom, and you rock at it, but there's not that same helplessness. Helplessness like. and yeah. irritation. Yeah. 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 Because you're so, because they're so good, and yeah, they balance each other, complement each other. Um, Rob and Lex are so much more you. Yeah. And so there's that there's a little bit more of this. Yeah. That um, makes sense. Mm -hmm. So yeah. clear, clear there, but it didn't take long. Like it was just, just something that popped up and like, okay, it's gotta go. Yeah. Um, throat chakra was open, um, but stuff in there. And it was exactly yeah. what we had talked about, um, kind of at the beginning. Yeah. And you said, I don't, I can speak my truth. I just, sometimes it gets clogged. Yeah. It's not, yeah. And it's because you're coming at things from an ungrounded place. Mm -hmm. So well, yeah, everything else is. Yeah. And so we'll talk about that because it came up on a few other things. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. And then third eye. So that's intuition. It was open. 
which you're very intuitive, um, and your uh, crown chakra was open. So that's your connection to your higher self, God, universe, spirit, whatever you call it, um, but it's open. Um, knees were closed, so that's worries. Um, past worries, future worries, and um, feet. And feet are the same as root chakra, so feeling yeah. grounded, feeling connected. Um, so clear and worked on those a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the major. Um, some of the things that popped up just doing your treatment, but it's not necessarily chakra related, was that um, you are a healer, not, not something you don't know. It comes with that empath piece of who you are. Um, but also what you're missing, the part that you're missing is you heal from inside somebody's energy, mm -hmm. which is okay. I, that's what we do here. I ask for permission for your energy. We work on your energy and then you move kind of back. So what you're not doing is a grounding first mm -hmm. and then disconnecting after. Yeah. So you're, and as an empath, you need to do that. Mm -hmm. So when your kids or anybody in the world is in crisis, you dive right in and then you work within that energy to heal, help, mm -hmm. fix, and make it good. But then I forget to give it back to them. Or get, get the hell out of it. Yeah. Um, and so grounding before you get into that, like, okay, you need me right now. I still am me. Yeah. I'm right. Like almost thinking. And that's I'm, what it felt. Like it felt like the pieces were, were sticking to me like amoeba. Like mm -hmm. that's what it was like. Just yeah. sticking to me like I was glue and it was just all coming at me. And yeah. like a piece of tape with cat hair. It was just exactly. constantly sticking and I couldn't. I had gotten so far deep before I realized what was going on that I couldn't get out, get it. Yeah. And so that's the piece that was showing up is that you need to step outside of it, even if that means you're just watching it from mm -hmm. kind of like a different place than your own body, like stepping a little bit further back and going, okay, here's how we're going to deal. Mm -hmm. And coming at it from a grounded place and then yes, disconnecting your energy from there so that because when you stay in it, it's not helpful to them and it's not helpful to you right. because then your energy's in there and it's throwing off the balance. Yeah. Right. So if you leave here and I sent all my energy with you, you would be in this weird trying to figure out your shit, but you're also holding on to me. So yeah, disconnecting and allowing, okay, I've done what I needed to do here. This is all I can do for today. You're good. And now you're back to me. Right. Um, so that's kind of the big thing that showed up. Um, the other thing that showed up when I was working on your, again, I get turned around in here once I start working in my third eye, your right leg, tree trunk. You are the strength. You are the, the firm mm -hmm. tree. Um, and making sure that you're not just giving. Yeah. That you're also not taking, that's not the right word, um, but allowing yourself the recharge yeah um because sometimes what comes with that is a little bit of guilt yeah that of oh but you need this and you need this and you need this and ah yeah and going okay i'm in that i'm in that too yeah i need this yeah um and just making sure that you're doing that you generally have a pretty good head on for when you need that um but just yeah it came up as the trunk of the tree it's yeah. often the part of the tree we ignore yeah but because it's the strongest and the biggest and the sturdiest and the part that isn't it's not at the bottom where it's bringing in nutrients yeah. right which is really important and it's not the apples at the end yeah. kind of thing that what's the fruit it's the beautiful part it's the right that's our it's the forgotten part it's the forgotten part but so imperative that's yeah. that strength that part that holds it all together and you are that mm -hmm. you are the one who holds it all together um I don't forget about you. Yeah. It's funny because everything in the last week has been all popping up to don't forget you, you have to take uh, precedence. And I was like, mm, okay, which I is, see what I'm missing. Yeah. Which, oh my God, this just gives me chills right now. So her daughter was actually supposed to come today. She's coming a different time. Um, so Jen just messaged me today. She's like, it'll be me instead of Haley. And I'm like, well, the universe. Yeah, she is a tricky girl. She's like, no, 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 no. You, mama, are going yeah. first. 
Putting, she put you first, right? Yeah. Making you go first. Going, no, 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 no. Your kids don't come ahead of and you. And that was what was going to happen. The kids were going to get done. Okay. And then I would, because then everybody would be on the same page. But right. apparently. But as the strong pillar of your family, be solid. you so that they could, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's giving me chills. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Um, perfect. So that's kind of, that's it. That's all. Any questions, any concerns, anything for you that showed up? No, I don't think so. It was just, it all makes sense, really. Mm -hmm. Like, it's nothing's really surprising. Mm -hmm. Other than this is really one of the first times that some of my chakras, like, were pieced. Mm -hmm. So that one. And I can check them overall if they're open or closed, which is helpful. Um, but I like to sometimes find out, okay, now that we know this, let's dig a little deeper. So I can check your heart chakra and it can be closed. And I'm like, well, okay, is it still? Is it giving? Is it receiving? And it's none of those. I'm like, okay, well, it's got to be something yeah. or someone else. Yeah. So sometimes it's helpful to... And that's where blockages kind of can show up or it can be partly closed um, because there's more to being grounded, right? If that's feeling connected and feeling safe, right? There's, there's parts to it. Um, so you can, you can do the kind of the whole thing and it's, it doesn't really matter because I, we're in there clearing it anyway. Yeah. Sometimes it's nice for you at the end to know, like, oh, to be able to see the, where it is, yeah. Yeah, and specify a little bit. Like, oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Great. All right. Well, well, we hope you enjoyed. Yeah. And um, if you have any questions, once again, you can find either one of us on Facebook and send us a message, and we'll go from there. Sounds good. And I don't know if I even told you this, Jen. Um, from now until December 1st, I am offering 20% off for everybody who is booking or booked. Um, so that includes gift certificates. That includes, so just that Christmas holiday. Love it. Yeah. So anyways, check it out. We'll uh, chat soon. Okay. okay. Bye, guys. Bye.